What's up, you guys? It's your girl, May. And if you have not already seen, if you do not know, if you can't, couldn't guess from the last video, I don't know, you speak Spanish, you speak French, I don't know. Let me let me say this for you in layman's terms, okay? Your girl is pregnant. My, my, my lunch is an enchilada. I was hungry. So, I want to bring you guys along as much as I can with this process. So you guys are gonna see my little recap of my first trimester. There have been ups, there have been downs, okay? It has been a ride, let's just say that. Before this video even starts, if you guys wanna see more pregnancy videos as I come into motherhood, as I come into my womanness, you know what I'm saying? Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. If you have been a mom before, if you are going through pregnancy or mommyhood right now, give your girl some tips, cause I'ma need them. Like I said, make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you guys comment, like this video, and share it with all of the people that you know, anybody that you think may love this video. Y'all are coming on a very special journey with me, okay? Then if I'm not getting good responses to me sharing this intimate, moment with you guys and y'all may just have to catch catch me after i give birth you feel me <laughs> let's go ahead and get into the video okay first <laughs> this is literally like six hours after i found out that i am with child mother and and fathers i love you guys we're coming to wally world and i just had a grandiose idea to get raspberry ginger ale and orange juice and mix them together that sounds mm, that sounds so good like low-key it sounds like a mimosa so yeah we found out today i'm seven weeks and a day and today is what's the day date it's december 20th i'm having a little chocolate chip cookie <laughs> okay, so they didn't have they didn't have the raspberry ginger ale. I'm kind of sad, but like I got a strawberry uh, soda, and here is the orange juice. So yeah, we're just gonna substitute that for that. Call it a day. I'm back home. Y'all are gonna be here with me to try my first pregnancy craving, but I'm gonna make an actual video with like all of them. Yeah. I got my strawberry crush. Mm -hmm. Look at that, it's fizzy. I'm gonna put some more. Yeah, that's some orange juice. I should have added more orange juice, but it's okay. Wait a minute. Mm. I need some ice. I'm gonna shake it. I'm gonna shake it. Rude. Anyways. That is so good. My lover in the moonlight. My legs twist a melody, a smooth, smooth. Hello, you guys. I am back. The last time you guys saw me was when I was doing my first pregnancy craving. Honestly, that thing is good. If you guys try it, it tastes like a mimosa. Mm, it's so good. Little update. Okay. I got my blanket on. Don't judge me. I have been really, really hungry. I literally eat like every two hours. This morning, I couldn't eat. Like I ate some, I probably ate like in total maybe like four or six bites of food, but chocolate chip was not having it. That is not the name of my child. I am just calling he or she chocolate chip because I don't know the gender. I shouldn't have had to explain that, but you know, people be coming out with crazy names for their babies. I'm really tired, which of course those things are normal. Like, you know, first time being a mommy. My boobies have been hurting a lot. My hip has been hurting, but I kind of feel like my hip is hurting because of when I was younger, I think I was maybe like 10, 11, and 
I had climbed up this tree and I found a thorn bush and my my left hip has never been the same. It has a huge scar. If my family is watching this, they know exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm just trying to, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know what else to say. I haven't made my first doctor's appointment yet, only because it's the holiday season. Literally, Christmas is like two days away. Oh, another thing that has been happening, kinda here and there been having like consistent cramps. They feel like period cramps a little bit, but less intense. I don't know if that's normal. I'm gonna ask my doctor once I go and go to my appointment. But any of you guys have dealt with that, comment down below if you have or have not. So <clears throat> it is 27 and I am sick. As sick can be. I don't know where I got it from. I don't know what's going on, but honestly, I feel like I'm just sick because like, you know, when women are pregnant, their immune system are weakened. I don't know if y'all can hear it in my voice, but man. Oh, this is gonna be so good. All day today, my throat has been hurting. Like I've had a headache. <laughs> Ew! I'm so sorry. Nigga, yuck! I'm so sorry. Um, a little bit, but I'm just hungry. I need to eat. Me and D, we just got back from the store. We did our first little store run. Cause Chip is giving me a run for my money right now. And like, man, I've been so gassy. Like officially, I am eight weeks in a day. Still haven't gotten my first doctor's appointment but i'm gonna call somebody tomorrow to set up my first appointment and yeah i'm just woo. like last week i was feeling a little nauseous at times this week now i noticed that like if i'm if i don't eat at the time that my stomach starts to growl i'm just not gonna have a fun time we got a lot of stuff we got like a lot of cold food we got soup ginger ale yogurt stuff like that i'm gonna make this concoction that my granddad <clears throat> used to make for me and my siblings and cousins as kids just poke the hole in this one so you don't have to eat this one you first. did yeah. oh i don't want yogurt right now is that mine Man, if I, that's yours <laughs> d has been really supportive but yeah i'm just gonna take a load off and try and sleep off this headache <coughs> and this dry cough. I didn't film when I had like my tonsils were swollen and stuff like that earlier this year, but that's literally what it feels like. So yeah. So right here at our first baby's appointment. So yeah, I'm a little bummed out place where I am coming to get my first prenatal appointment at was the same place that I went for like, you know, womenly stuff, um, but they don't have like ultrasound machine, they don't have none of that stuff here. So really kind of wondering why I'm here. I'm looking at this table and they have like a pap smear thing over here. Like got a pap smear. Listen, if you're a woman, you know what I'm talking about. Just want to know that my baby is okay. So, we're back in the car. Definitely wasn't the first appointment that I was hoping for. I got like the regular pregnancy panel done. Gave me an order for an ultrasound somewhere else. Huh, my hat is leaning and I'm just, uh, whatever. They were trying to give me a pap smear. I was not having it. I was not having it. But yeah, all I can say is that I am 137.6 pounds. I've gained a little weight. That's good. I hope it's enough weight. I'm gonna look for a different doctor just because like, it doesn't seem like they have, you know, where you can deliver your baby and all that stuff. Okay. So like, first of all, Happy New Year, y'all. Like, this is just another segment in my pregnancy, first trimester vlog thing. Y'all, do y'all see? I'm about to cry. One thing that people do not tell you is that 
you just go through so many changes. Like all these little, I'm so sorry for my eyebrow here. I am so sorry, but I'm stressed. Yo, like where's, it's on the back of my ears and it itch. I haven't gotten anything on my chest yet or anywhere else, I don't think, but. I'm about to cry. I've been having such a hard time like trying to figure out what I can do to bring my face back to when I was like in 2018. Like, I know y'all gonna be in the comments, May, like that's a part of, that's a part of your hormones. Your hormones are going crazy. Oh my gosh. So, if you can't tell, I'm at a photo shoot. We're in a kimono. It's, Okay, for anybody that is Asian, I don't think these are real kimonos, but they look like it. I don't know, don't come for me, okay? And as he, <laughs> as he does, you know, whenever he have a photo shoot, I took over his photo shoot and he's taking over mine now. So, Just that yeah. Oh, by the way, I'm 10 weeks. I know this is supposed to be like a first trimester update, but like, yeah, I'm, we're doing, other stuff, not just baby stuff. The grind don't stop, okay? I asked him to shoot with me because, yeah, you know, he's here. So, you know, why not get some pictures taken? I can't wait for these. But, yeah. I just wanted to give you guys a little update as I smack on my day gone gone. And that's. I really wish, I, I really wish I could show y'all what the hell this man is doing over here, but I can't. I'm not going to. The what? We gonna cut the camera, cause I don't know what the hell that is. All right, good morning, y'all. So I kind of realized that, sorry, I'm rubbing my like, just lost my train of thought. I'm a, I was rubbing cocoa butter in. I realized that I haven't really been giving you guys like a update update. Kind of just been like coming back and showing you guys like some of the stuff that I've been doing periodically. So I am officially 10 weeks in a day today. D is currently at work. I'm at home by myself, which let me just say, last night, it was kind of weird because, well, it was obviously this morning, but I, like, realized that he had got out the bed, and I was so restless. Like, I could not sleep, like, tossing and turning. But also, chocolate chip made me get up because I had to pee, but that's past the point. But, yeah, like, as soon as he left, I want to say maybe, like, 30 minutes to an hour later, I was up. And his closet door, which is behind me, opened. And like, I don't know, that just made me feel a little weird. So I got up, closed the closet door and all that stuff. So, but just a little rundown of what's been going on in my first trimester. Maybe like two clips ago, I had came on the camera and I was very distraught about like my face. Obviously I did research, looked it up and that's a part of pregnancy, which I knew that, but my face has been kind of like my insecure thing for a while now before I got pregnant. So I don't know, just with my hormones just raging and being crazy and stuff, I really just, that was really a vulnerable moment for me. And then yesterday I did a photo shoot um, with this new photographer that I met and Dee was with me. I'm glad he was with me because you know, I I didn't want to go by myself, honestly. Okay, that made me feel really good. And now I'm just like really pumped to start like doing more shoots again. Cause I took a little time off, which I didn't want to, but it just kind of like happened like that. And I went to my first, you know, ob appointment. The thing was that like, I went there, but she didn't have the ultrasound. So I'm having my first official first ultrasound. Why do I look so greasy? Anyways, official first ultrasound on January 20th. And I'm kind of stressing out about that. Dee's not gonna be able to come in the room with me at all. 
I think that is all that's really been happening. Oh, yo, I've been having the most vivid dreams of my life. I know that's a, a like a symptom of pregnancy and all that, but like, yo, having dreams about chocolate chip and like chocolate chip's gender and what he or she is gonna look like and you know my life after i give birth and everything and it's just it's been really weird of course the you know the breast to feed the hungry are bigger and heavy and it's just so uncomfortable like honestly i really just don't even wear a bra anymore like i don't <clears throat> there's one time where i literally asked d i was like can you please can you please just just hold them because they're so heavy <laughs> and he did it like okay this is this is a lot of information but like yeah my skin's been really really dry the reason why i had to put cocoa butter on before i got on the camera is because like i have like this dry patch that shows up right here every single day my nose like going all the way up the bridge of my nose is really dry and then like right here is always really dry i haven't had any more acne there is some like popping up on my back my skin my skin in total is just really dry and that's another symptom of pregnancy i do know that no i don't think there's anything else that i can really think about i am two weeks away from being three months and then i will i'll probably share this a little bit later after my three month mark because of course I want to share it with my parents first, my family, um, and Dee's family, so that you know we can feel the love, you know. But if you are watching this, I thank you for coming on this journey with me. We are having a baby, a baby. If you like this video and you want to see more pregnancy videos, just make sure you follow me, subscribe and comment what was your favorite part in this video if you made it to the end listen i'm a mother no drama period <laughs> make sure you follow me on all of my social media snapchat twitter instagram tiktok all of that jazz will be down below and on the screen for your convenience i love each and every one of you i love chocolate chip y'all can't see but i love chocolate chips so much oh my gosh like y'all just follow me on this on this journey of mine i probably i'll try to give updates but like if i don't i'm just really just gonna enjoy this time that i'm pregnant and i may do like some pre-recorded videos and stuff like that but like the really really intimate stuff obviously i'm not gonna share because I just don't have time for for people and their opinions and stuff. Keep your opinions to yourself. If it ain't nice, keep it to yourself. It's a long outro, but I love each and every one of you. <clears throat> Thank you for subscribing and rocking with me and following me on this new journey of mine. Stay blessed, stay beautiful, stay motivated, babes, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.